I believe that Sandbox is insane, and I think that its utility token called Sand during the next bull run could hypothetically at least go to the price of $20 and prove a lot of those Sandbox haters wrong, and make them hypothetically come running over to their girlfriend's boyfriend's grandma and start begging for that new Hori extender that's been on sale for quite a while on eBay. And of course, that's neither baby mama, grandma, nor financial advice. But in today's video, I want to explain several reasons why I believe Sand could hypothetically at least go to the price of $20 during the next bull run. Well, first of all, I think that Sandbox is one of the best metaverses out there right now. And why do I say that? Because when I take a look at the majority of the competition, you know, a lot of other metaverses out there, they completely suck. You know, they're complete caca. And no, I'm not talking about the soccer player caca. I'm talking about the number two caca. A lot of other metaverses out there, they're just not playable, in my opinion. They're just not that fun. But when it comes to Sandbox, it's exhilarating, it's fun, I love the graphics, and it's very enticing overall. In my opinion, Sandbox, it stands on a league of its own. And personally for me, I think that there is a lot of potential in the metaverse market. And why do I say that? Because... According to McKinsey, by 2030, the metaverse could reach $5 trillion in value, which I think is insane. So clearly, I think Sandbox is focused on the right thing. You know, the metaverse overall, as of right now, it may be down, but I think moving forward, it is poised for such a massive comeback. I really do believe that. I think the best is yet to come. I think what we saw back in 2021 was just a small taste of what the metaverse could really be. And here's the thing, on Sandbox, there's currently over 200,000 holders which is absolutely insane. You know, I think if anything, that truly showcases the conviction that people still have in Sandbox. You know, a lot of people, they're not panic selling. You know, they're not being paper handed. They actually are holding and believing in the future of Sandbox. Currently, over 200 brands already involved with Sandbox, which includes Snoop Dogg, Gucci, Adidas, Ubisoft, and many others, which I find very impressive. You know, the Snoop Dogg partnership, not really that impressive, but other than that, you know, it's very impressive. Furthermore, there's currently over 2.5 million wallets registered on Sandbox, which I find very impressive. You know, over 2.5 million, that's almost as many lingerie sets as Kim Kardashian's. No, I'm just joking. I'm not even going to make a joke on that. But besides that point, Sandbox in actuality is a subsidiary of Animoca brands. And now when I say this, some people, they may think, Oh, what's Animoca? Is it an animal brand? And no, that's not the case whatsoever. Animoca is a real deal company, in my opinion. As a matter of fact, Animoca Brands is a Hong Kong-based software game development slash venture capitalist company that as of January of 2022 was valued at approximately $5 billion, which I think is insane. Clearly, Animoca is such a massive company. That's what she said. And I think that Animoca is truly the real deal. I think that Sandbox has the right company leading them moving forward. You know, really, when I take a look at Sandbox, I think that overall, it's very fun to play. I think it's amazing. I think it's a lot better than the competition. I think they're focused on the right market. I think it's statistically, it's doing very well. And I think that they have the right company leading them moving forward. You know, when I take all those factors into consideration, I truly do believe that that is a recipe for success. You know, a lot of crypto projects out there they really have no use case at all. Let's face it. A lot of them don't even have any sort of proper leadership. They don't have any proper guidance. But that is completely not the case when it comes to Sandbox. I think Sandbox is going to be around for the long term. Unlike a lot of other crypto projects out there that you don't really know if they're going to be around in the next couple of years. But I think Sandbox will be around for a very long time. And personally for me, I think a major catalyst which could very well allow Sand to hypothetically attain the price of $20 during the next bull run is the fact that I do think that the next bull run could look so legendary. And why do I say that? Because there's currently over 420 million people around the world owning cryptocurrencies. And I think this is a very impressive statistic because when you take a look back in 2021, during that massive bull run at that time, there was roughly only around 300 million people owning cryptos. And yet still even despite that, the bull run that year looked that impressive. So you gotta imagine just how legendary the next bull run could look like, especially now that we have over 420 million people. You know, in my opinion, when you have that many people, the FOMO, buying pressure, buying volume, and altcoin season during the next bull run could look so insane. And when I take all those factors into consideration, and when I consider just how special Sandbox is, I don't see why its utility token called SAN won't go to the price of at least $20 during the next bull run, 
hypothetically speaking. And Percy for me, I am dollar cost averaging into sand. I don't day trade, I don't swing trade, I don't use leverage, and I don't use technical analysis to try to outsmart the market or time the market. I don't do any of that type of nonsense whatsoever. I like to keep it simple. I am just focused on accumulating on a consistent basis, and I am ignoring the short to medium term price movements. You know, in my opinion, people who day trade, you know, use leverage, you know, I think those are the equivalent of an individual who buys a home with a leaky roof that they know they can't afford to fix. And that right there is potentially a recipe for a massive disaster. And I don't want to get wrecked, and that is why I like to keep it simple, by dollar cost averaging. And by dollar cost averaging, I believe that I am preparing myself for the next bull run in such a fantastic way. I wouldn't be surprised whatsoever if San, during the next bull run, did go to the price of $20. Wouldn't surprise me at all. I think Sandbox is that amazing. And if you want to check out a very interesting video, make sure to go ahead and click on this thumbnail right here. It's a very fantastic video, and I think you all would really love it.